My next guest is uh, another member of English acting royalty, but younger. Uh, he's uh, a commander of the British Empire only, and uh, presumably will be sir one day, wouldn't you think? He is, uh, among his best films, are, I guess, are The Great Escape and Private's Progress and Seance on a Wet Afternoon and The Sand Pebbles and The Angry Silence and so many more. He also directed Oh, What a Lovely War with both of these gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, will you welcome, please, Richard Attenborough. <laughs> Very nice to see you. I, 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 it was interesting to hear Sir John and Sir Ralph both talking during the break, and one of them said he likes to see rushes of himself in a movie, and, and Sir Ralph said he does not like to see rushes while he's making a movie. Do, does it bother you to see them? Maybe we can get two out of three on this. I prefer to see them. Uh, mm -hmm. I find over the years uh, that they have been more instructive almost than anything else, really, and yet yeah. there are certain parts, I think, which one can play where one feels a little embarrassed, perhaps, at seeing them on occasions. Mm -hmm. But in the main, I would tend to see them. I'm looking forward to this film you're, you're making. I, I had the author of the book, Ten Rillington Place, on oh, one yeah. night. It's about a, a murder case in England, where briefly, uh, it seems quite clear that the wrong man was executed in this yeah. case. At least that, the investigation after it seemed to prove yeah. it. Um, that must be a tough part to get into. Uh, you're, are, are, are you playing? Which, which of them are you playing, Christie or the? Yes, I, I play the. Uh, the man who, in fact, committed the murder, who mm -hmm. murdered uh, eight women, um, mm -hmm. and who, in fact, was the principal prosecution witness at the trial of the boy Against who, the who was falsely accused. Mm -hmm. And the boy was, in fact, hung. Yeah. Uh, hanged, I should say. And um, it was only after he had been hanged that there were various investigations uh, following the arrest of Christie and Christie's confession to the murder. And uh, afterwards, subsequently, the Home Secretary, for what it was worth, gave the boy a posthumous pardon. But uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Imagine yeah. how that would be appreciated. Yeah. 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 Well, it was one of the most extraordinary murder things extraordinary, that I think. ever happened, yes. Mm -hmm. And you, you uh, shot it, I believe, in the very house, I was told, yes. where these... Really? Yes. Well, w we shot some of it there, obviously. They the of the rooms were so tiny, we couldn't shoot all of it. Is anybody living in that house now? Yes. Uh, in fact, there were West Indians living there, squatting there. And it yes. was, in fact, West Indians who discovered the murder in the end. Christie, uh, after the, the, the death of, of Evans, Christie murdered his wife then. And uh, n there was obviously nobody to look after him at all, and he was mentally deranged, obviously, and finally just left the house, having sold all his furniture and so on, mm. and was found wandering along the embankment, the Thames embankment. And the way in which he was discovered was that some West Indian people took over the two or three rooms that he lived in. Oh, yes. And in moving a piece of furniture into the house, they hit against the wall, and the furniture went straight into the wall in that it was merely n wallpaper put over a little alcove in which were hanging two of the women who he had murdered. Mm. It was an absolutely ghastly, uh, ghastly piece. They changed the name of the street, didn't they? They did indeed, yes, and it's now all come down. We, we in fact, had to ask them to keep the, uh, to keep the building up for another mm. few weeks. It's, it's made, obviously, uh, Mr. Cavett, because, uh, because most of the people concerned are uh, totally opposed to capital punishment. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seemed to us, in this particular case, I, uh, Sir John and Sir Ralph will know that, that, that it was perhaps more responsible for the abolition of capital punishment mm -hmm. in the United Kingdom than, than any other single uh, fact. Uh, and uh, obviously you can argue the the moral issues in regard to capital punishment until the cows come home. You can, you can roll up statistics to prove that it is, that the death penalty is a deterrent or not a deterrent, as the case may be. Mm -hmm. One thing you can't argue about is that the law, the establishment, the police, justice, justice in our name, can make a mistake. And, uh, you think one mistake would be enough. Yes. I've always thought one of the best arguments against capital punishment was that in the old days in England, when they used to hang children, and other people for stealing pocketbooks and uh, handkerchiefs, 
that one of the places pickpocketing was the most rife was at the hangings mm -hmm. yes. in the crowds, which yes. should argue against the deterrent yeah. theory a little bit.